Hello guys, Andy from Next Gen Base here and welcome once again to NGB Retro where the old man, this man here, plays the old games, these games here. Um, we're back on the C64 and today we're going to take a look at um, Hessian, which is one of the newer games that was installed on the C64 Mini when I last updated the firmware. So this is from 2016. And apparently it's a platform game. I've not played this at all. This is one of the games I've not touched on the C64 Mini. So let's spin it up and see what it's like. So Cytronic is a developer name that I have seen sort of thrown about with regards to kind of the new retro game scene. Obviously these new games that... And I love this. The, the modern quality of life updates on games that you never had on the old microcomputers. Things like option screens where you can actually change your skill, uh, you can change your music and the sound effects. Start game, continue game. Does it actually have built-in save states or is it a password system? Let's find out. Um, one of the things I don't think I really talked about on the, the video that we did for Impossible Mission just now is that obviously with the C64 Mini you do have save states. So you can save these games. Um, which is something you was never able to do um, previously. Obviously, you know that is very much a, um, a, 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 a emulator kind of thing. So, uh, Kim, a night security guard working at Throne Group Science Complex, wakes up in an improvised emergency operating room. Okay, she remembers multiple hostiles opening fire on the staff. Everything fading to black as rounds hammer into her chest. Okay, so she dead. And finally, voices, massive trauma, need artificial circulation, prepare the nanobot injection, now. I don't know why Alan Partridge did that. Okay, so we have... We can jump. So we're using up to jump. Oh, I'm Victor. We need to reach the others who are holed up in the parking garage bottom level. Follow me. Okay, so we're going to follow Vic... Oh, Vic... Vic, did Victor die? Ah, I'm no good to go on. Search the upstairs. You need a pass card we use to lock up this place. Watch out for more of those bastards. Swears. And one final thing, your nanobots running your body depend on battery power. Don't run out. Okay, so... I got the pistol, so... Okay. Okay, so this is interesting. So this is kind of a, a very modern style adventure platform game. Nice chunky visuals. Uh, so there's a pistol, got pistol, combat knife, got combat knife. Okay, so hold down fire. And I can choose my weapon. So I've got pistol, I've got combat knife, and I've got fists. Got combat knife going on there. Okay. So I feel like ammo is going to be quite limited in this, so I'm going to need to be quite careful. Now one of the things I said for... Oh god. Now that didn't really do any damage to me, which is good. So hopefully that means that enemies don't damage you when they touch you. But probably do when they fire on you. I'm guessing that little pea shooter combat knife isn't really no good. So let's get the pistol out and have a go with that. Oh, okay. Cool. I've got some parts. But I have wasted a fair bit of pistol ammo. So maybe... I need to conserve ammo a bit more. So I did say in the Mission Impossible uh, impossible Mission video that I wasn't going to do a full playthrough of that, but this actually feels like something I might come back to. Heck! Oh god. Oh, I don't like those. So, okay. I feel like I've run out of ammo for my pistol now. Which is probably not a good thing. You need the warehouse pass. Oh, health regenerates. That's handy. Let's do a little dodge roll. So let's try and avoid the enemies as I'm going past. I like that health regenerates. That is, again, another nice modern quality of life update, which a lot of games from this era did not have. Well, there's another. looks like there's another pistol up there get that yeah we got okay so we've got ammo on the left for the pistol 
and we've got the number of clips that I've got presumably on the right. So it feels like enemies don't hurt you on impact, but if you hit their bullets you will take damage, which makes sense I guess. Oh god, stop it! Ah, there's the warehouse pass, so I need that. So I've got the warehouse pass. Oh, there's a med kit. So can I select that from my... Ah, so I've got a med kit there. I don't appear to be recharging health anymore. Curious. I wonder if a med kit automatically heals you if you run out of health, but I can't seem to figure out a way to get it to heal me norm normally. Oh, save and end, resume or retry. Retry, where does that start me back? Oh, that, that starts me back at the last door I went through. Happy with that, that seems good. So apparently you can take full damage. dead. So that drops me back there. No, I've not got a lot of health left. How do I use a med kit? Ah! Hold the fire button and down. Okay, got it. Got a battery. So I know I've got the warehouse pass, so I can get into the warehouse. I think that should be our first port of call. Try not to fall down the stairs. Going up and down stairs is a little awkward, I have to say. This is fine. So now I know I destroyed some of the enemies in these other rooms. Do they respawn? It's obviously a very important question. I don't think I destroyed him or it, being that it's like just a floating globe. Likewise this. So there's some parts up there. Well now there was an enemy in there that I definitely destroyed, so let's get into the warehouse, use the warehouse key. Okay. Or get out of the warehouse. I'm burning ammo, I probably shouldn't be shooting the enemies as much as I- Oh! God! Well that was surprising. That combat knife is a fairly useless item. I am not going to lie. And I just used a bullet, which I probably shouldn't have done. Okay, well I've just used all my bullets again. So let's try the combat knife on the Shadow of the Beast reject. No, dead. Um, okay, well we got out of the warehouse, um, so I'm going to save an end there, and <clears throat> I feel like this is Patel. Save game slots. Oh, I like that. I like it. I like that there's kind of all this modern um, kind of things that you'd expect from a modern game in this. It's very good. Um, I mean, it looks pretty solid. Controls are pretty tricky on the quick shot, um, but I think the developers have made a good attempt to kind of bring it um, up to sort of modern game standards. Oh, here's some in uh, instructions. So you joystick and board two for control, jump, climb and operate, jump, go left, go right, roll. To attack, press fire in direction to fire, hold fire to enter inventory, well, fire is held, blah, blah, left and right, 
I'll find longer for pause menu. There we go. Oh, and there is some keyboard controls as well. You can reload, um, use a medicate, use a battery for some quick stuff. But obviously, we don't have a keyboard plugged into the C64 Mini, so sell it. Um, yeah, I quite like that. I might jump back into it and carry it through, so keep an eye out for that. Um, we are got, we are going to check out one more game on the C64 Mini for this series before we move on to our next um, retro mini computer, um, which uh, will be you'll be finding out what that is soon. Um, obviously, if you're new to the channel, give us a subscribe. We'd love it. The button's just down below. Go give it a little push. Um, if you liked this video, don't forget to drop us a comment and obviously leave us a little like. Um, that kind of stuff really polite and just yeah, really nice. Um, and if you're coming back for some more of these, I will see you next time on NGB Retro. Bye for now.